dumb but is here to entertain you. Mota Baloi happens to be one of the most controversial entertainment critics within the South African National Territory and uh, he always reveals so much information about top celebrities. DJ Somebody's life has been claimed in the most unthinkable way and Nota Baloi has something very crucial to reveal about this that has been shocking to so many people after his revelation sparked on controversies on the internet of course as usual. He reveals so many things at times and uh, most of the times he has backings to these revelations. Do watch this video right up to the end because Nota gives hints on who could have ordered the hit on DJ Somebody and of course gives some possible reasons why. Do well to watch right up to the end. Before I give you all the entire information proper, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit on to my post notification bell. Following DJ Somebody's early departure from this world, there have been so many speculations and the persons who have been accused of claiming his life, yet no one knows for certainty. And Nota is one of the persons that has an opinion on who could have ordered the hit on DJ Somebody. But his opinion is even highly more considered as compared to all other opinions because this is his domain. He is highly recognized and known for such things. DJ Somebody was shot on his way to a gig from another concert at Noah's Cafe Women in Johannesburg on Sunday morning. While everyone else is so sobbing and mourning the DJ's loss, Nota, who is renowned for his highly controversial views and of course the way he analyzes things, have decided to break silence. Nota has claimed that the music producer and company owner was shot by his close friends and that the reason for the shooting was all because of drugs. Nota boldly urged aspiring singers never to mix music and drugs because they both don't go together. They are two independent variables and can't be mixed. Nota boldly urged aspiring singers not to mix music and drugs. In a series of tweets, he said, and I quote, Bona Tempolae, CD, my brother, passed on, died. This year, let's take to the streets, and there's no justice in the streets. I hope that the young and impassionable understand that music and drugs do not mix. Keep an eye on who you associate with because your talent is your ticket to the big time away from crime. He also disclosed that rapper Kuli Chana was previously shot by authorities and who could have actually shot DJ Somebody. These people are so much gangsters. And of course, the gangsters have come at this particular DJ because he is owing them so much. And all this is all in the name of drugs. Who actually revealed this to this particular Baloi is what I keep asking myself. How does he get so much details about such information is what I keep asking myself. South Africa has been robbed again at another top celebrity, one of the pioneers of my piano music in South Africa that has actually risen South Africa into the international market in musical business and of course they are making rounds even in the United States of America. Things are going so south already. Nota his assertions, he does not actually know if DJ Somebody was involved with narcotics at times. And he was previously sued for these because of his charges. Let's hope that he has evidence to back up his claims. Because most of the times we have discovered that people just decide to spill out information without even having backings to what they are saying. Nota Baloi has been in the streets for so many years already. He is recognized by so many celebrities, so many fans. He is recognized by the South African entertainment industry for his controversial views and his deep diggings as far as entertainers are concerned. Nota Baloi has actually proven to us that he could be reliable, but how reliable can he be as far as just somebody's situation is concerned? I personally feel so bad right now and I just hope that everything comes to an end as soon as possible because we are actually already getting pissed about all what is going on. I don't want to be so judgmental about this but you all guys I'm inviting you all to tell me in the comment section what you think about this. Do you really believe that DJ somebody was involved in some drug dealings like there was even some allegation that he was into money east? I don't want to be judgmental like I earlier said I love you all so dearly.